Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today I'm making a blueberry jam using Panoma's pectin and I'm going to do a step-by-step -step video on how I'm doing this. I have not done this particular pectin or recipe. I'm going to bring you guys along for the process. I will put all the ingredients and supplies needed down in the description to make that a little bit easier for you guys, as well as any links if you can't find any of these in your local stores. As always, I always encourage you to purchase from local and support your local merchants, but if you can't, Amazon is always a really good place to get it and is usually the most cost effective in purchasing products like these. So today is blueberry jam. I have my blueberries here. This is the pectin that I'm going to be using in the Pomona pectin uses calcium water to activate the pectin so I have a package of calcium water that I need to make up I'll show you guys how to do that the package inside the pectin came a recipe for making it however I'm not going to be using this recipe I'm going to be using the recipe out of this cookbook using Pomona's pectin and then you'll need a water canner and however many half pints or pints you will be making. In this case, I'm going to be, we're a family of 11, so I'm going to be using pints. I'm hoping to get eight or nine pints by making a triple batch, which is going to be 12 cups of blueberries. First things first is you're going to want to wash and sort all your berries, take out the yucky berries, take out the stems, anything like that. So we're going to get going with that. That's going to be your first step. There are some bad ones there. I'm pulling them out. Bad ones. The chickens will eat those. Now I'm going to wash the blueberries, put them in the strainer. We have to sort these all out before we can freeze this particular batch. And we're just pulling off the stems and any, like, these any, guys that just kind yeah. of popped in the pot. Right, the bad ones, the leaves. Um, the... Sheet trays work really well. We have uh, the large baking size sheet trays. And these work really well because you can just kind of spread them out to a single layer, quickly pull these out, and uh, get them all clean and ready for the freezer. Easy. And, uh, you know, it's time consuming when you have the quantity that we have, <laughs> but it's still a fairly easy job. Before I get really started with the canning process, it says I need to make calcium water, which is a half a teaspoon of white calcium powder and a half a cup of water. So I have my water here. This is the calcium powder. I'm going to dump that in here, and then after I've used this, I'm going to store this in this little jar in the refrigerator. They said you can store it in the refrigerator for as long as it's not growing mold for a long time, or you can freeze it if you need to keep it longer. These things like to make one layer. <laughs> a little hard to pour. Oh, they're the roly polies. Mm. The next thing I'm doing is filling up my water bath canning pot and we'll fill this up probably about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way. It just depends on how big of a pot you're using. And then I have, I think Art said I have nine canning jars here. They have been washed and cleaned and we're going to put this in the pot and let them start sterilizing while I prepare the jam. If you're new to canning, don't let all these steps intimidate you because it's not hard to do. This is a very simple process. There are just lots of little steps, particularly in the preparation part. And then once you get going, it's very quick and it's not hard. So please don't let me intimidate you. If you're watching this video, you're new to canning, you're like, I cannot do this. Trust me, when I first started canning, I had no idea what I was doing. And you just do this one step at a time. And hopefully by watching this, you'll see that you can do this too and you'll try canning your own jelly. So I want 12 cups of blueberries, but it has to be 12 cups of mashed blueberries. These have been all cleaned. This is eight cups, so I'm going to mash them and see how much we have after that, and then keep mashing until I have eight cups, and then I'll do four more cups. It's kind of sad to do this. Right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Crushing the nice jelly. But blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. But they're still really yummy. 
So we mashed that first batch, and this was eight cups, but now it's down to right about six, six and a half. So that definitely <laughs> changes the equation, and we need eight cups of mash. So I'm gonna add some more blueberries and smush them up until the eight cup level. So I have my 12 cups of berries in the pan here, and to that I'm going to add my lemon juice for my quantity. This is 3 quarters cup of lemon juice, I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to also add 6 teaspoons of the calcium water. Good, mix that up please. And now I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my stove here and bring this up to a boil. While this is working, I'm going to measure out my sugar and the pectin and mix those two things together. So once this is at a rolling boil, we can mix the two and it'll be all prepared. But you don't want to skip that step. You need to mix the pectin and the sugar together or it will clump. I have my pectin here and I need six teaspoons. I'm going to add that to the sugar. So I got my station all set up, a cutting board. I use that to protect my countertops from the hot jars coming out and filling them up. And I have my funnel here so I don't make as much of a mess filling the jars. A jar lifter is really handy so you don't burn your hands and I could not find, you're gonna laugh about this, I couldn't find my lid lifter, so Art put together for me a magnet. This will work just fine. So it says here, bring fruit to a full boil, add pectin sweetener and stir vigorously for one to two minutes to dissolve the pectin while mixture returns to full boil, remove from heat. Then we're gonna fill the jars. So I have my sugar with the pectin in it and I'm gonna add that into the pot. Of course, the kids like scraping out the pan. Okay. I need more water. I'm letting the canner get up to boiling, which is not quite yet. Once it gets up to boiling, we're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna let it just process for 10 minutes. Turn off the heat, let it sit for five minutes, then remove the jars onto the wooden cutting board over here and let them cool until they've all sealed. Or if they don't seal, then we have to either reprocess them or just eat them. The jars of blueberry jelly are done. And now we are working on some uh, blueberry rhubarb jelly. And Janelle is uh, smashing it together. This is gonna be good. I think so. Mommy? And now the uh, the rhubarb or the blueberry rhubarb is going in. Mommy, can you me uh, yeah. Yes. Of course, the kids want to lick off all the good yes. food. They're, we're 
letting them lick that, licking the pans out, and we're gonna finish processing these and clean up our mess. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of mess. Yes. Although I've been cleaning it up as we've been going, so it's not as bad as it could be. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And they're all ready. Here they come. They almost look, they almost look the same as this. I guess one's lighter. Pretty close. We're definitely gonna have to label these art. Right. <laughs> There's nothing better than canning your own food art. Yes, it's hot, but there's nothing like it. You get to enjoy the entire process from picking to preparing to canning to eating. Yes, well, we have the, you to thank for that. Oh, well, the picking part. The picking part. You help wash the dishes and cut up stuff. Eating is the best part. Eating is the best part. So all of the jars on the jelly did seal and let's see how many jars do we have six and seven right 13. so the 13 jars we have the blueberry rhubarb and then just the blueberry we're going to go ahead and label them and put them in our pantry and peter is making well made a coffee cake for our breakfast it looks great peter so with that i'm going to end this video i hope you will try this recipe for either the blueberry jam or the blueberry rhubarb jam they are both fabulous recipes i will put all the links down in the description below you can check those out as always thank you so much for watching i hope you are having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video